Just off to the cargo bay if you need me. Got a minute? I'm in the bio lab. Liam? You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. Liam, what's going on? We found that facility on Vault. Kicked them in the teeth. Great. But they can't steal what people are. Everyone should have a stake in that. So I reached out, trying to get resources moving in a real way, bridge that gap like I did with Jar. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all, can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. Liam, we're not from here, and never will be. But we are here. We can't always be strangers, there's no room. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it... It has to be normal. I need something... familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? Clean break. Just the clothes on my back. Me too, more or less. But I made arrangements. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. British. From when that mattered. My whole family works here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. Know what we did? Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. It's a nice gesture, but you know you won't see it again. Oh, it's, it's a couple million years away at standard light. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. We do what we do. It doesn't always have to make sense. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. <sighs> this will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It, um, felt really good. I know it was really personal. Thank you for trusting me with it. You say that like I was making logical choices. Thanks for getting it. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. We're still waiting on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. 
Just checking in. I wanted to ask about you. Mm -hmm. What do you want to know? I have to know about the car. We'd wrench on it as a family. Mom suggested it, and Dad liked a happy mom. That's how I fell into mechanical stuff. Armor and jump jets. Mom wasn't a fan of the second part. You know how it is. I worried my parents from time to time. That's a kid's job. I probably crossed the line a few times, though. Like jumping a galaxy. That's why I have to make this work. If I don't, then Andromeda was a mistake. I said goodbye to too many people to let that happen. Tell me about your friends in crisis response. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell anyone what they did. Stealing the shuttle for the car was above and beyond. Dondi, Bass, Mazzy, Noel, Cap, and goddamn Hammond. <laughs> the best people when buildings have fallen down. Eventually, I'll have to start a new branch here, you know? I promised. We'll talk later. I know it. Still waiting on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. Ephra likes karaoke. Where the hell did that come from? Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually, it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? I thought I hated the Ket before. Then we learned about Exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland, 
Two years later, our dad was gone. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Hey there. Hey yourself. Question for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, you think you'll have kids? Why is that on your mind? Jill. The best friend I mentioned while I was thrashing you at poker. She's starting the Initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it... We're basically here to spawn. Those of us lucky enough to live through this. Exactly. And there aren't that many to start. We're a disaster or two away from not having enough numbers to survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Oosh. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. So you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. That's never been a thing for me. You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gut moved on before I was born. I had no idea. It must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part. Brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Ah, uh, would you mind taking a slight detour and dropping me back in the Milky Way? What's the problem? Little something I just heard about called exaltation. It's definitely more than we bargained for. And the cat are even scarier than we thought. I gotta start eating more protein and getting a full night's sleep. It'll take everything we got to get through this mess. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage.
There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. But I've got you, and everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Ryder. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? We can talk more later. Sure. Species genes. Asari take other species traits. PB, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike. Going through the readouts from the cat facility. I've never seen such advanced genetic technology. Frankly, it's light years ahead of our capabilities. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Ryder. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it.
Hi there. Just checking in. What's up? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Jal? Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? My family is complicated. Isn't much to say about it. Hmm. Okay. This random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? Not really. Because you enjoy spending time with me as much as I do with you. You do? You're fascinating. <laughs> so bold, yet mysterious. So odd. That's... thanks. And I mean it. There's always more to say and to learn, isn't there?
I'll see you later, Jarl. Stay strong and clear. What can I do for you, Pathfinder? Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. This will take time. Is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sauna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins. All raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone. Taken. Or killed. By the cat. We never found his body. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless. Yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything. But that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age. I hope being here will inspire me. Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jarl. Stay strong and clear. Just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jaw faces every day, now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just... I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father. They always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it.
We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. Hi there. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Still deciphering the Ark's last known course from the flight recorder and making sure we're ready for a fight. Any more commando war stories? That's all I can share, anyway. I miss them. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Hello. Settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick Test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. You licked a rock, didn't you? I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants. They achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me. And then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Anytime. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the Exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare, and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. K 
pet genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all cat. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. If you and the rest of the team could figure them out, it might make a huge difference. Already on it, Pathfinder. I should get back to things. Sounds good. The hell you did? You can't just undo ten hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks, something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient. Just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Callo. I know, just... please don't let this distract you. What can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model, how power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. You know where I'll be. Thank <laughs> you. 